Sheikh Saleh al Sheikh He has a book called The Methodology of the Muslim in his tafkir and how he thinks in his mentality. And he speaks about an approach that some people take in seeking knowledge that is erroneous. He says that some people, they seek knowledge for academic curiosity. They seek religious knowledge to learn any shudud, any strange, odd things that nobody else may know. So they could feel that they have something that is khas bihim, any something particular and special for them. Some of the scholars have defined that as the definition of self-astonishment, that you think you know something that nobody else knows. Right? A person, he learns so he knows things that nobody else knows. And he may just have a love for learning. So you see the person, maybe slightly nerdy, you know, introverted. This is what he enjoys. He likes just reading about things. So he may read about Arabic language and grammar and syntax and eloquence, balagha. He may read about Islamic history. He may read about, and he may learn some intricate things about Islamic poetry. He may study all sorts of things, but he's overlooking the purpose of knowledge, which is tazkiyatun nafs, to fix his self. إِنَّمَا يَخْشَى اللَّهَ مِنْ عِبَادِهِ الْعُلَمَى Those who fear Allah alone from amongst his slaves are al-ulama, the people of knowledge, meaning according to the level of a person's knowledge is the level of how much he fears Allah or should fear Allah. Tabarak wa ta'ala. If he has internalized that knowledge and been benefited by that knowledge. 